welcome back to Lex Reads. So in today's video, I wanted to do a haul. I was trying to remember like the last haul I did and in my mind I was thinking it was so long ago. And when I look back, it was only a month ago. <laughs> but I have been on two kicks, I've told you guys, on a romance kick and a classic kick. So when I get on these kicks, I tear it up, meaning I buy everything I can get my hands on. And when it comes to the classics, I'm so embarrassed to even show y'all all these classics that I got. <laughs> yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so you guys know back in February, was it, no, January and February, I was on my Truman Capote kick because I was obsessed with the FX series that, you know, talked about him and his friends. He called his friends the swans. So I researched a lot of his works to see what I liked and what I didn't like. And he is known for his short stories. So these were like all the books that I did get. So the main one that I really wanted to get was the early short stories of Truman Capote. And I found this on Amazon for like 10 bucks. I love this edition. Isn't it so pretty? And then I got the glass harp. I, I talked about this in my wrap up. I really did like this story. This is his first novel. I got Breakfast at Tiffany's. And then, of course, Answer Prayers. I did a read a book in one day about this, uh, about this collection of short stories. This is the one that caused all of the havoc in his life because he talked too much. So, yeah. So that was the books that I got of his. I'm done with buying his books. I don't need anything else. I don't want to get in cold blood. I don't want to read that. So yeah. Next, I started really diving into romance books and particularly black romance books. Every time I do like read a romance, I tend to listen to it. You guys know I've told you so many times that Alexandria House, that's like my favorite like rom romance author ever. And I tend to listen to those. I know you can get like the physical copies on Amazon because she is connected to Amazon. So every book that I do have of hers, I it's on audio. But I wanted to actually physically read a romance book. Started off with this. I talked about this book with you guys in my wrap up. Um, it's Frenemies Fix Up, a Harlequin novel. It's by Yara St. John. Really cute little story. You know, when I saw these two black people, I'm like, I'm I'm going to get it. So after reading this, I bought I bought this. Mickey Chambers Shake It Up. Another one that I really did enjoy. I read this book in like a day and a half. That's how much I really did enjoy it. Then the next week I picked up Bet On It by Jody Slafter. This is another one that I really did enjoy. Next romance book that I want to read is The Accidental Pinup by Danielle Jackson. I'm really excited to read her and excited to read this book. I've heard a lot about Danielle Jackson and it was all like positive. So I can't wait to get into this. And again, these colors are so pretty. Even before when I got into like my little romance bag, I did want to pick up This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. I do have before I let go and I have not read it because y'all know I don't like to read books and everybody else read books but of course I'm gonna have to read um it's down here of course I'm gonna have to read that first and then read this one but I really did want to get it because it was at Walmart for like 14 13 14 bucks I'm like let me go get it so that is it for the romance kick Next, I got a book yesterday. It is American Daughters by Parker Hugley. You guys know in my anticipated reads for this year, this was on my list and I cannot wait to read it because it is about Booker T. Washington's daughter and Theodore Roosevelt's daughter, which Theodore Roosevelt's daughter name was Alice and Booker T. Her name was Portia. And oh my goodness, I was doing some research today. Look, while I was at work, I was supposed to be working, but I was looking up stuff. Alice, girl, the tea. So like her husband that she was married to, she said that like that was his child, but really it wasn't. They found a diary that was admitting to, uh, that was admitting it was someone else's child. Girl, what else did she do? She was kind of like banished from the White House. Look her up. I did not know she was that wild. And also too, I did not know that they were friends. Did not know that at all. So cannot wait to get into this book. This is her second historical novel. I have her first novel. Histor I have her first historical novel. Um, and it is by her own design. And I can't wait to read this uh, too. This is about Anne Lowe. But for some reason, I want to read this first and then I'll read this. And next, I got Decent People by Deshaun Charles Winslow. What was the book that we had? What was the book we read for our 
February book club pick, I believe. Was it February? Or yeah, it was February. Um in West Mills. That was his debut novel. And I loved it so much that I want to get his second novel because it's not a sequel, but it does have some characters in West Mills that are in this book. And the main character, if you have read in West Mills, uh, not loved not. Oh my goodness. I love that freeness she had. She kind of gave me a little bit of like a Sula or a Shug. She kind of gave me that type of vibe where she was real free and didn't care what nobody, you know, said about her. I love that book so much. That is probably one of my like top books of this year so far. And West Mills is my top book. And so when I found out that there were some characters in that book, I said, I have to read this. Now, I know I was kind of leery to get this because it is based on a family that does get murdered. And I think there's two sisters. And y'all know how I feel about when women get murdered, women and children. Oh, it takes a lot up on me, okay? Even though it's fiction and the book is not real, still, okay? I still wanted to read it because it is set in West Mills, the town. And I really love the way he captured that fictional town josephine josephine is engaged to i believe his name is limp and limp is the brother of the two women that um was murdered they were siblings they were murdered in their house i believe and he kind of like a no good type of man or not no good but well, she's like in her late 40s and she's moving back to west mills and she ends up um, he's like the main suspect so she goes to the town and kind of like interviews the people and like the people tell like their version of what happened and things like that I mean I, I love stories like that with like the community is telling you know what happened because again you get so many different versions but yeah next I wanted to get a Virginia Woolf book I don't have any Virginia Woolf uh, books at all and I wanted to start off with Mrs. Dalloway because it was a movie a couple years ago. It was called The Hours. I have that book, but I haven't read it. And it was Nicole Kidman. She played Virginia Woolf and she won an Academy Award for that. And that book and then that movie, I think it's kind of based on Mrs. Dalloway. While I was watching that movie, you know, again, they had Virginia Woolf. She was one of the main characters and she struggled with depression and mental illness you know she she killed herself but she was known obviously as a great writer and then lastly um I want to show you guys my classic books that I got I'm not gonna go through all of them because y'all it is a lot I cannot even hold it in one hand that's how much it is like y'all it's crazy look here's one set here's two sets here's another set this is the last one Again, I went in, okay? So yeah, guys, that is my haul. You know how much I like to shop. So I have to say, a lot of the classic books, they were used because I went to Second and Charles. They were having like a, what was it? It was a penny a page or something like that. So I caught that sale. I didn't break the bank that much, but I did spend some money. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for you. And I'll be back with more black books. Bye.